Hi, I'm Art Zimmett of the law firm of Zimmett and Quarles. Welcome to the third in a three-part series about child safety seats. This series was inspired by and is dedicated to the Nales family. A couple weeks ago, they were driving on the highway in Orlando on the way to a family reunion when the van they were in blew a tire and rolled. The mother of a nine-month-old baby boy was thrown from the vehicle because she was not wearing a seatbelt. In addition, her son was also thrown from the vehicle because he was not strapped into a child safety seat and that seat was not strapped into the van. Studies show that properly using a child safety seat will reduce your child's risk of injury by up to 80 percent. That bears repeating, 80 percent. In this installation, we'll talk about booster seats. If your child is over 40 pounds or 57 inches tall, it's time to put him or her into a booster seat. There are only three things you need to know to install a booster seat properly. Booster seats must be used with both a lap belt and a shoulder belt. The shoulder belt must go through the center of the child's chest and shoulder. If the belt does not go through the center of the chest and shoulder, internal injuries can occur in the event of an accident. In addition, the lap belt must go across the child's upper thigh and not the child's belly. If the lap belt crosses the belly in the event of an accident, Again, internal injuries can occur. Manufacturers sell two kinds of booster seats, the high back style and the low back style. If the back seat of your car does not have headrests, make sure you install a high back booster seat. Once your child grows taller than four foot nine inches, it's time for a regular seat belt. Remember, if you or a loved one have been injured, you might not need a lawyer. But before you hire any lawyers, sign any forms, or talk to an insurance adjuster, do yourself a favor. Get the free books and information available at our website, zqlawyers.com. They're free, and we're confident you won't be disappointed.